countertop folds up and this all kind of comes undone and turns into a, a manageable shower space. I wanted to get a rig that I could like make into a space that I could be with friends and travel and have a good time. And I've comfortably slept with three grown men here, no problem. It's super cozy and I sleep like a baby. I had to go with the cute little retro fridge because it matches the bus and it's just gosh darn adorable. What's up y'all, I'm Weston. This is my uh, blue bus that I've been working on for about five years. Um, I've been in this rig for like three weeks now. Finally getting to use it, it's pretty cool. Come on in. Yeah, so this is the uh, kitchen. Bunch of storage, I have like a fold up shower in there. Um, I have two pretty standard uh, propane tanks that have like an automatic changeover underneath. And I have instant hot water and works great. Um, I got a big old sink because I like to cook and I make dishes. So I got like the two removable cutting boards here, which are great. Um, all of the hardware in this whole rig has like the uh, marine yacht style drawers. Oh. And they're all like click to latch and they all tried to cram as much storage as I could into all the zones and they all do the stuff. I had to go with the cute little retro fridge because it matches the bus and it's just gosh darn adorable. Um, and yeah, I mean, <clears throat> countertops all custom. It's Brazilian cherry or jatoba, all custom cabinetry made of sapele, like African mahogany. Um, all the lights are on dimmers, so can really set the vibe. Um, it was important for me to have like adequate cooking space because I like to cook. Um, I would still like an oven and a third burner at some point, but I'll probably sacrifice it because the space is tiny, but it, it, I made do and it works well. Yeah, so the fridge, it's uh, you know precious and retro. It is 120 volt, but I haven't had any problems with my solar handling it. I have like 540 watts on the roof, like 200 amp hours of battery and it, it can keep up and some. So. I haven't ran into any problems. I, uh, I did run some uh, 12 volt lines, so if I do want to upgrade, I can, but I haven't ran into problems yet and I won't upgrade till I really feel I need to. Um, this is just like a nice floating mahogany piece. Um, has like the hidden, the hidden pins that hold it and it was clamped and glued and it's sturdy as heck. Um, everyone always asks how the plants stay and it's just Velcro, it works well. Um, I haven't had any issues with any of it falling off and I've gone over some wicked stuff. And that's the kitchen. Yeah, I guess I'd, I'd always kind of been intrigued by like, you know, the old RVs and tiny houses and just kind of the, the more simple ways of living. And I wanted to get a rig that I could like make into a space that I could be with friends and travel and have a good time and also enjoy the ambiance that it provided. Um, yeah, I think uh, kind of just fell into my lap. This bus was like, five miles away from my dad's place up north in Wisconsin and it was only like 2700 bucks on Craigslist and I was in Madison at the time and I called him and I was like yo can you go check this bus out he went and looked at it and was like yep drives great and I just told him to buy it on the spot so it kind of fell into my lap um, I really wanted one with like the the wheelchair lift door on the side rather than the back just because I knew I wanted to make that kind of the primary entrance so yeah I mean when I saw this as close as it was to home for the price point I was like yep it's time to just buy one so I quit my job and sold my car and bought a school bus. Heck yeah, so here's like a good chunk of my storage. Um, I can also take like all the wicker baskets down and I have slept people up here before, so it does work. Um, I just wanted to find like an aesthetic way to be able to store stuff that like wasn't Rubbermaid bins. And I thought that the random wicker collection was kind of kind of cagey and looked nice. Um, it works pretty well. Um, I got rid of like the OG folding doors and recycled that glass from those doors and put them into like a, a Brazilian walnut panel. So it's like a fake door. So I could uh, get rid of the stairs and basically have a, a co-pilot seat. But both, this, both the chairs swivel. They're from like an old Astro van. And I thought they kind of, you know, I, I got them like before I really built up much of the inside, but I think over time they just started to kind of complement the space and I kind of like the look of them. So I'm gonna leave them for now. Um, there's like some, you know, like, custom knots that I filled with like epoxy and stuff underneath. Um, it's all veneers similar to the ceiling. So yeah, I got the custom window coverings. Um, it's just like duck cloth, duck canvas with double thick insulation, like wool, wool packing blankets more or less. Um, I was at one point in time gonna redo the dash in wood, but I realized that I just needed to finish the space first. And so I, I eventually might do that, but it's gonna be a nightmare. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna wait till the time is right to accomplish that. Um, but it does drive like a dream. I get like 11 miles to the gallon, give or take. I can cruise on the highway at 75, no problem. It's super easy to drive. It's just like driving a boat or a big truck. Yeah, I mean, I like 
you know, quit the classic post-college desk job. I was doing like data analysis for Wisconsin Energy Conservation Corporation. Um, was tired of that grind behind the computer screen. Um, quit that, bought this bus. Started doing kind of like landscape work, kind of more like pergolas and fences and stuff like that. And then transitioned into wilderness therapy. I worked there for like a little over a year, um, working with like troubled youth and doing backpacking stuff. Um, after that, I started kind of getting more seriously into the, the building realm. Um, had a couple jobs with some good builders in Wisconsin. Kind of started to up my skills through them and also while working on this. And now I pretty much um, solely do custom woodworking and travel around, do like signs for restaurants. I'm uh, working on like a studio in Mexico right now, like a music studio in Mexico City. Um, yeah, and I, I do like, you know, side consulting and builds for other people like sprinter vans and other rigs. But yeah, I like building good spaces. It's good fun. This is the shower zone. Um, countertop folds up and this all kind of comes undone and turns into a, a manageable shower space, more for necessity and when I'm stinky after snowboarding or hiking and when I need a space. Um, all the push to lock stuff. Um, I have like, you know, the little tank compost toilet. I have like an 18 liter instant hot water heater, ran off propane, super efficient, super reliable. I haven't had any problems with it. Um, otherwise it's just Eastern red cedar, tongue and groove with a, a bunch of urethane and all that good stuff. Um, there's like some access panels to the plumbing underneath there and just little cubbies and nooks and crannies for storage and all the other good stuff that one might need in a bathroom zone. And I'm kind of like keeping my spices by my toothpaste for now, but I'll refine that system eventually, <laughs> you know. But yeah, I mean, it all folds up pretty nice like. Um, I can do this and then I also have to refine this system, but for now, I've just been unhooking that to hold this up. And then this unhooks here, and she all folds down nice and gingerly, and that goes like that. And it's pretty handy, it works for me. Yeah, so I mean, I, I finished, uh, I, I spent the month of May in Mexico um, helping renovate this music studio, and like two days before I left for Mexico, I had finally finished the bus after working on it for like five years. So I was like, all right, when I get back from Mexico, I'm just gonna pull the trigger and move into this thing full time because I've kind of been waiting to do it for a good five years. So it just kind of seemed like the right move. Um, now that I'm doing more traveling for woodworking, um, it's just kind of the right fit to finally be able to move into it and start living in it full time. Um, that way I can, you know, I have all my tools on the roof. I can take them to any job that I need to. And if, I, if I'm out of the country, I can just get a storage unit or park through the friend's land. And it works out pretty efficiently that way. So this is like the uh, dinette living area, like bed extravaganza. Um, I have 50 gallons of fresh water under the seating there, um, my batteries, all my control stuff. Um, obviously the, the table swivels and drops down. This all turns into a bed. Um, I've, I've comfortably slept three grown men here, no problem. It's super cozy and I sleep like a baby. Um, got like the purple heart arch, obviously all the recessed 12 volt lighting. Um, got to keep it amber for the vibes. Um, also all dimmable because, you know, you just, you got to have those options for a good time and a good environment. But um, yeah, so I mean, there's tons of storage and all the seating, um, all the components, all that good stuff. Um, the middle seat in the back is also removable and I can also remove the table so I can have like the full open run if I want. And uh, the custom back door also opens so you can just kind of hang out and get a good airflow going in here. Um, I also have all the custom screens, so. I do have a generator and an air conditioner. I haven't needed to use it yet, but I do have them if I do need it. And it does fit in one of these windows. So if and when the time comes, I'll get back to you guys on how that works. And then also I have the Cubic Mini Grizzly, which is like super awesome. Um, I kind of bought it like early on because now there's a bunch of companies that have super cool wood stoves, but this was like the right price point and the right efficiency that I wanted at the time. And I do like the, the vibe it provides. Um, I had no problem keeping it like above 80 degrees in here when it was like negative 20 out building this thing in Wisconsin. So it's super efficient and I love it. And it's hard to complain when there's a, a wood burning, like a wood burning stove with fire in your space. It's always good, you know. Yeah, so I mean, going forward, um, I have to do a bunch more rooms in this uh, music studio down in Mexico. So I'll probably go, be going back and forth between um, the States and living in this bus um, until that's done. Um, Next steps for me, 
I would like to buy land and build a cool little uh, canopy for this thing, park this on the land, maybe Airbnb it out, and build a more formal shop and workspace so that I can start cranking out more rigs more efficiently and just have a really uh, buttoned down and dialed in shop to do that with efficiently because I like building stuff and I want to just get more land and build more things. Yeah, so I mean, there's a, a big old beefy roof deck on top. Um, I got the 540 watts of solar up there. Um, I did the, obviously I had to do the dovetails on the corners because if you're going all out, you got to go all out. Um, I also made, this is a solid Brazilian walnut with like four floating panels. Um, super complex and took a long time to build, but it looks kind of cool and it doesn't leak water at all, so that's cool. Also Brazilian walnut with mahogany back deck. Super sturdy, I'll probably throw a motorcycle or some sort of bike on there at some point. Um, it also holds the generator if I need the space. Um, eventually definitely going to throw some angle iron on too so it's skatable because that's important. Um, but yeah, I mean, I kind of was going for the nautical theme, the nautical look, and it's pretty nautical. I mean, it's nautical, <laughs> you know? And that's my bus. I mean, here you have it. It's blue, it's wooden, it's, it's cozy. The people like it. Yeah, and uh, if you want to follow me on Instagram, I'm uh, Wesson Around, W-E-S-S-I-N, Around. It's like a, a play on words. So my name's Weston, messing around, Weston Around, you know, it's, it's pretty cagey. Um, yeah, I really appreciate Tiny Home Tours coming and checking out my rig. It's great to see them here at the bus fair. It's a good time. Um, hopefully I'll see you on the road. Thank you.